Number 1. Cathedral. Burgos 13th Century Cathedral of State. Mary is UNESCO listed and stands out as the only cathedral in Spain to earn this status without being grouped with other buildings. The best way to approach the building is from the west, where you'll be greeted by impossibly ornate twin spires, modeled on the Gothic cathedrals in Paris and Reims. Number 2. Monasterio de Santa Maria. It's also difficult to sum up the historical importance of this next monument, just beyond the western edge of the city. The abbey is the final resting place of nine kings and queens, and you can gawp at the opulence of these burials at the Museo de Ricas Tilas, which presents a set of tapestries, including one that decorated the tent of Al Nasir, the Almohad Caliph. Number 3. Burgos Castle. On the west side of the city banking up high behind the cathedral is the tallest hill in Burgos. This was the first part of the city to be settled, as far back as the Iron Age, and it's the site of the city's castle. The outer walls and towers of this fortress are still standing, but there would be a lot more to see had the French forces under Napoleon not blown the whole thing up when they withdrew from Burgos in 1813. Number 4. A walk through the historic center, Take the wait off at a cafe on Plaza Mayor with a cold beer or cup of Café Con Leche and see the town hall and a regular jumble of painted old buildings on all sides. A few steps will take you down to Plaza Mio Cid, where there's a statue of the Spanish hero on horseback and pointing across the river Arlinzon. Number 5. Ataperca. East of Burgos is the largest archaeological site in the world. You needn't be an anthropologist to be enthralled by what you'll find at Ataperca, where the oldest hominid fossils in Europe have been discovered. These date back as far as 350,000 years and were first discovered when a deep trench through these mountains was dug for a mining train in the late 1800s. Number 6. Museum of Human Evolution. Make a day of it by coming to this attraction before or after Ataperca. The museum was opened in 2010 and has an innovative layout, recreating parts of the Ataperca landscape in the basement, including a 3D model of the Cima de los Husos. As you move up you'll be filled in about the Darwin's theory of evolution and what we've learned from Ataperca about human evolution. Number 7. Miraflores Charter House. A short drive in the countryside east of Burgos is this beautiful historical site that you can also reach on foot by following the course of the river. The monastery dates to the 15th century and was adapted from a former hunting lodge belonging to King Juan II and built by his father Enrique III. It is still occupied. Number 8. Camino de Santiago. Pilgrims have been stopping at Burgos on the historic way of stay. James for many hundreds of years, as they head for the cathedral at Santiago de Compostela. The route into the city isn't worthwhile as it goes through Burgos Industrial Zone, but you could definitely walk a portion of the trail as it leaves Burgos and winds east through rolling wheat fields on the way to Leon. Number 9. Casa del Cordon. On Plaza de la Libertad is this 15th century palace built for the High Constable of Castile. Its name comes from the Franciscan cords that are carved in stone above the building's front door. Today the palace is home to a bank on the ground floor and an exhibition space on the upper levels. This sort of belies the building's vast historical significance. Number 10. Paseo del Espelon. Often described as El Salon de la Ciudad, this distinguished landscaped walkway on the north bank of the Arlanzan connects Burgos Teatro Principal with the city gate, Arco de Santa Maria. On Sundays especially, it will be filled with extended local families, elegantly dressed and taking a turn on the paved promenade. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.